In the last session, we talked about how to write literature review. That is, when we want to establish a relationship between variables, what are the critical elements that shall be included when writing or developing your hypothesis? Now, one element that we left out was using theory to develop the linkages. Now, in this particular session, we are going to focus on what is a theory and how to use a particular theory to develop linkage between variables. Now, theories have the potential to explain a phenomena. Now, this puts the theoretical framework squarely ahead of mere descriptive or survey work. Now, what this theory or theories do is that they put your theoretical work squarely ahead of mere descriptive or survey work. You are not just describing X said this, Y said this, or these are the results of the relationship between the two variables. Or the theories will help you explain why is this relationship this way? Why is it positive? Why it is negative? Or why there is a relationship between the concepts? It will help you explain the relationship. It will help you explain the mechanism of relationship as well. As to what are the possible reasons that a particular relationship may exist. Now, if there is no research whatsoever on the impact of X on Y, the theory will help you build your argument. Theory is necessary and useful in most business and management research. Now, majority of your papers may be rejected because you do not have adequate theory or you have not used a particular theory adequately or in other case, you are not making a significant contribution to the theory. Now, examiners expect to see propositions and hypotheses supported by theory or theoretical concepts perspectives and for empirical findings to be explained by the theory. This is part of the discussion. Now, you've got your results X influences Y. So let's say it's a positive impact. Now, this particular relationship or positive relationship is it supported by any particular theory? And if it is, why is it supported? So theory is not just about proposing hypothesis. It's about supporting your empirical findings as well. Explaining your empirical findings with the theory as to why there is a relationship, why this particular relationship was supported. Now, most business and management research aims to explain a particular behavior such as choice or an outcome that is associated with individuals that is leaders, employees and consumers. Or it may be explaining the relationship between individuals and groups, work teams, companies and countries or systems. And theories can help you explain such behavior. Theories can help you explain how leaders influence groups or how organizational practices such as CSR influences team outcomes. Now, I did a paper on this here. There was very little research on how CSR influences team outcomes and I guess there is very little research still. So, you can work on CSR and team outcomes. So I used social identity theory to explain the relationship between CSR and team outcomes because there was no research or very little research as to how CSR can influence the different team outcomes. So I used a theory to explain the proposed behaviors. So what are the key elements of a theory? Now, written 1989 argues that the theory contains four essential elements what the factors in the theory this includes the construct in the theory now now you might have heard about job resources and demand model what would mean the factors that are there in this particular model or theory now if we have a look here let me quickly go through it job demand and resources theory if you go to the images now look at this these are the factors that are there in the theory or 
For example, you can have another theory as well. Let's say u t a u t 2. So these are the factors that are there in the theory. What? What factors? So this is your what. Now moving on, how? How are these factors related? The arrows that connect the boxes as we've seen here. Look at this. How performance expectancy influences behavioral intention. How effort expectancy influences behavioral intention. How behavioral intention influences use behavior and so on and so forth for all the variables. So the second element is how these factors are interrelated. Why? Now this is very important. Why the factors are related? And this is the key and particularly important in the theoretical contribution. Now, if there is no why, there is no contribution. You have to explain why these factors are contributing to the relationships or you have to explain why is why studying these concepts is important. What is the contribution of this particular relationship to the literature? Why is it important to explain understand and empirically study these relationships. If there is no why in research, there is no contribution. Who, where and when. Now this represents the boundary conditions that is moderators and it help explain what could possibly change the existing prescribed relationship in the model. Who here refers to the level of analysis. You can have individual, departmental or organizational where refers to the context or setting and when refers to the timing. Now finally, a model is the representation of a theory. Now once you have identified the theories that can help you explain the relationships, based on those theories or a particular theory, you present your model. And it is shown in the graphical or mathematical form. So how do we search for a particular theory? Let's say, now the model that we've been studying for the past few sessions, well, this is the model and we looked into the structure for this model as well. Now let's say I'm searching for theory. What are or what is the theory that I can use to explain the relationship? So let's say I'm interested in explaining the relationship between servant leadership and environmental behavior. So I'm going to use this particular theory. And how does this work? For example, have a look here. You will have in title. Servant leadership, which is your IV, environmental behavior, which is your DV. And then I'm interested in finding out the theory. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying out, I'm trying to find out papers that have linked servant leadership with environmental behavior. And if they have used a particular theory to explain the relationship, I'm going to copy this particular text here and let's put it in Google Scholar. And to find out what particular theory we can use here, yeah. enter. So servant leadership and employees pro environmental behavior has been explained in light of social learning theory. So you can use this particular theory or there could be other theories as well that can be utilized. So what you need to do is open these papers up. Let's open one of them. So this is the paper. And let's control F and let's just directly go into the theory. So the theory of self-determination, a widely recognized theory of human motivation posits that motivation is essential. So whatever the theory they have used, you can just go through the literature and see which one fits your model. So they have used social learning theory to explain the relationship between servant leadership and EPB pro environmental behavior. So you can use the same theory as well. But before going on and using the same argument, try to learn about what social learning theory is so that you have an idea as to what it means and how you can fit it in your model. The more you read, the more you understand how it can help you explain the relationship. And furthermore, then you are able to contribute to the theory. Now you can similarly search for other theories as well. Let's say green identity. So servant leadership and green identity. So you can just go on here and just change the text here. Use green identity. And if you can't find anything on servant leadership and green identity, then obviously you can search something on leadership. And let's say, let's do identity. 
the social identity theory of leadership so they have used social identity theory identity construction now green identity is about identity so what theory have they used identity theory for example i'm in i'm also interested in finding out if a particular theory has been used with a particular concept what the concept is it should appear in the title of the paper and in the text that particular theory so i'm interested in finding out if path call theory has been used with servant leadership so copy let's say you read somewhere a particular theory and you think that it could fit your model and you are trying to find out if somebody has done it or not so i'm trying to find out whether path call theory has been used with servant leadership and let's see yes it has been used with servant leadership look at this path call theory so this is how you can also find out if a particular theory has been used with a particular concept or not thank you very much